hey what's going on guys welcome back to the channel so today we got a brand new project car and i know i'm literally hoarding cars i literally have the m3s right now my mustang fastback crx tacoma a couple broncos and now this 2003 honda s2000 now this isn't my first rodeo with s2000 i've had about two of them already this will be lucky number three and it needs a little bit of work but not much it's uh gonna be a pretty quick flip we can get a little bit of money to invest in some of the other project cars that we have here and uh to be honest it's it's not that bad the body does have some dings if you can see a couple there there's some on the door there's some right here on the fender the whole car has dings and dents all over it so that's pretty much the downfall of this car it's, it, it needs a paint job you know but luckily we know somebody here that paints cars <laughs> The main goal right now is to go ahead and start taking care of every single ding and dent on this thing and from there get this thing in the paint. So right now I'm going to go ahead and go panel per panel, start blocking this thing out and taking care of all these little dings and dents. My handy block right here, I went ahead and threw some 220 on this thing and we're going to go ahead and start blocking it out. I've already identified some bodywork and I went ahead and sanded those areas down just so I can kind of identify them first. But right now we're going to go ahead and start blocking this thing. Okay, after blocking this panel down with some 220 on the block, we went ahead and exposed some of these really low spots. This looks like it was caused off of the fender rolling. You can kind of see the lip of the quarter panel. It's kind of beaded in, there's a little dense. So all these glossy spots are areas where the block was not able to sand properly because the area had either like a low spot or if it went too far in some areas like this, too far like into the primer or the base coat, that is because there's a high spot. So we went ahead and exposed this bodywork. So like I said, we're gonna go ahead and do panel per panel. So we're gonna go ahead and start taking this down to bare metal, popping out these dents and doing a little bit of all the work. Okay, we went ahead and prepped off this panel, cleaned down to bare metal, hammered and dollied our bodywork right here. Now it's ready for some Bondo, so we're gonna go ahead and spread that down right now. Make sure when you crack open a brand new can of Bondo, you go ahead and mix this up, up real good. Uh, you wanna get all the ingredients mixed well together. A lot of times the stuff kind of floats up top or goes to the bottom and you don't get the whole chemical ingredient from the Bondo. So you make sure you mix it up really good. Now you can tell that the Bondo is mixed up pretty well. We're gonna go ahead and dab some of it on here real quick. Quick. Make sure you cover your bondo right after it's used. You don't want to get fined. We're gonna go ahead and put about 10 to 30 percent, depending on how hard, how fast you want it to dry. Everybody has their own mixing technique. I like to go ahead and kind of mix it in first with the stick, and then go ahead and take your spatula, whether it be plastic or whether it be metal, and kind of mix that in after. But just want to go ahead and kind of mix it all into the bondo first. Okay, now that that quarter panel is pretty much almost wrapped up, I noticed right away that there's like some weird clips on the trunk that don't belong on the trunk. Obviously, this is supposed to be smooth. So what we're gonna have to do is pop these off and more than likely weld these things shut. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove these right now and see what it looks like underneath there. All right guys, so we got a huge jump on the S2000 this week. The goal is to get into primer tomorrow. So today what we're gonna do is just kind of finish off all the body work right now and just kind of start taking everything apart. So we got the headlights. These are gonna get restored. So these are gonna get sanded down and restored, the clear coated. And uh, right now we're just getting everything off the car, headlights, bumpers, you know, the side, the side markers, handles, mirrors, door panels, hard top, all that and more. 
So tomorrow we can go ahead and get this thing in primer. All right, so unfortunately for the hard top, this was a rep top. Even the authentic Mugen tops, which I've had the pleasure of, of working on, are usually pretty messed up. This one was no exception. It definitely needed a full coat of Bondo, fiberglass, smart glass, and resin to kind of seal it up. We're gonna go ahead and primer this, and then after that, after it dries a couple days, we'll be able to get this thing in the paint. Okay, here's the hard top after a little bit of primer. Put about two wet coats on this thing, and I'm gonna go ahead and leave it out in the sun all weekend after it dries underneath here tonight. Got the rear spoiler, got a coat of primer on that as well, just a little bit. I had like a little, little ding or something right there. Here's the rear bumper. It also had a little bit of repair work. It has been all repaired. Went ahead and shot two small coats on the area of repair and then just one thin coat over everything so everything is nice and uniform. Uh, tomorrow we'll, you know, put all this stuff in the sun uh, so it can dry out for the weekend. And then Monday, we'll go ahead and start blocking this stuff out and uh, we'll get this thing ready for paint. All right, so the car is all masked up, ready to go. You can see the bodywork that it needed. Some of the quarter panel, dings and dents on the doors, fenders, hood, always. This fender was pretty bad, but we repaired it. Got it all fixed up, rocker, door, so it's ready to go. So we're gonna put some Vibrance primer on here, epoxy primer and after that, we can start prepping it, getting it ready for paint. Okay, this thing is all primed up. Went ahead and went with the PPG epoxy primer. We're gonna go ahead and let this thing cure for about three, four days out in the sun. Meanwhile, I'm gonna go ahead and unmask this thing and then we're gonna go ahead and test fit the new wheel and tire setup that we got. All right, so here's the fitment without any type of adjustments or anything. That's just how it's sitting right off the bat. I think this thing sits pretty good. Probably could get a little bit more meat on this rear tire. Front looks pretty good though. Front looks perfect, to be honest. So I'm gonna go ahead and start throwing on this side and we're gonna see where we're sitting now after it's all done. So in here we have the S2000 it has finally been completed and is ready for paints. We have pretty much removed everything off the car. All the moldings, the tail lights, the spoilers, the, the bumpers, the handles, all the trims, uh, every gasket, and all the bodywork. And so this thing is pretty much ready for paint. There's a lot of body work on the car when we first got it and we went ahead and took care of it. Now it's looking really good and it's ready for paint. So right now my biggest issue is should we stick it with the factory Berlina Black or should we add any pearl to it? You know, it's kind of kind of one of those things. Uh, we're not doing the door jam so we don't want to go too crazy and do a full color change because this is not that type of car. I bought this car just for a quick flip. So I started looking at some color codes and see what we could go that will still kind of keep it a true black uh, when you know when there's no sun but when it, when the sun hits it it has a little bit of pop and uh, I'm really happy with how it's coming out we're just taking care of any little minor imperfections right now and we're gonna go ahead and pick a color and get this thing painted We got the rear bumper over here. It was just reprimed and it's getting block sanded and wet sanded, getting ready for paint. We also got a brand new OEM front bumper that was just reprimed because we had a couple sparks that went through from the OEM primer. So we shot top line primer, which should dry within about two hours. Right now we're gonna put it on the sun and just give it a quick wet sanding when we're all done. Okay, right now as well, everything is getting prepped out and finishing so we can get everything into paint today. We're gonna go ahead and restore the headlights as well because these things were all beat up, yellow, broken, stuff like that. So right now we're gonna shoot some clear at when we shoot all these parts, we're gonna go ahead and clear coat these headlights and I'm gonna walk you through every step of refinishing a set of headlights just in case you wanna do that at home as well. So let's get into that. Okay, so this is one of the last pieces to the puzzle. These are the headlights that came on the car. They're pretty beat up, they're pretty old, sun faded and yellowing. So what we're gonna do is show you guys how we restore headlights. Uh, so that way when everything gets painted, we can go ahead and throw a coat of clear on this. So right now we're gonna go ahead and start giving this thing a sanding down with some 800 grit, 1000, leave it with 1200 and get these things in the booth ready for clear. What's up guys, Atuan here, otherwise known as Ethan, here at SOS Custom. So we're gonna be showing you how to restore these old S2000 headlights. And what we're gonna do is start off with the 800 DA on a soft pad, and then we're gonna go to a 1000 grit wet sandpaper. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with sanding off most of the yellow with the DA, and then we're gonna go to the wet sanding. Now, I wouldn't say that this is the best way to do it, but this is just the way that I do it here at SOS Customs. So I'm gonna start off with the 
DA, soft pad, just gonna hit the surface of this, try to get all the yellow. You'll see that there's like a difference between the dirty clear and the clear underneath that you're gonna wanna get to. Cause when we re-clear this, it's gonna come out crystal clear. Okay, so we got most of the yellow coloring off. It's looking a little bit more hazy, but when you add the water or clear coat, uh, it's gonna come out a lot more clear. But a good way to test it is to add a little bit of water. That's gonna do basically what the clear coat's gonna do and fill in the little cracks and make it so you can see what it's gonna look like when it's finished, basically. Okay guys, so I went ahead and hit these both with 800 grit DA and now I'm adding water to see uh, how they look and they're coming out pretty good. They're looking a lot less yellow, but there still needs to be some sanding. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit him with the uh, 1000 grit wet paper. We're just gonna go ahead and sand like this. And I forgot to mention with the DA, with the sander, you're gonna wanna avoid the edges. You don't wanna burn through, so avoid sitting in one place for too long. I should have mentioned that earlier, but staying it out. Same with the sandpaper. You don't wanna go over the edges too much. Keep adding water. Everyone does it different. You could go back and forth. You could do circles. It really doesn't matter. The clear coat's gonna fill in most of those scratches. And we're probably gonna go ahead and hit it with a 1,200 grit after the 1,000 grit to make it, you know, really smooth and good for the clear coat. Wet sanding with 1,000 grit. And if you're having trouble getting it down to, you know, a clear finish without the yellow tint, you can go down all the way to 400 grit wet, but you're gonna have to follow the steps. If you go down to 400, you're gonna have to do 600 and then 800, but these ones aren't too bad. So we're gonna just do 1000 grit and finish these off. All right, and this is what the final results look like. H1 got those things all prepped out. Went ahead and shot some clear coat and they look as good as new. All right guys, so the sealer is down. Now it's time to actually talk about the color that we ended up going with now. It was a little hard to choose this because, you know, having a custom body shop, you know, we should be doing custom colors all the time. But this was something more of a quick flip car. So uh, I guess in the next portion of the video, you're going to see the color. I'm going to leave you guys right here. And we also got the rest of the parts painted, so let's go ahead and take a look at that right now. All right, guys, everything has been painted and it makes me so happy because this is it. After today, we can finally start the reassembly process. Uh, we're probably gonna let all this stuff dry for another couple days so that way we don't get no hand prints or thumb prints in it, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys everything right now. Here we have the brand new OEM front bumper. We got the Mugen replica hard top, AP1 front lip. We got the mirrors over here, looking real nice. Got the door handles, they're all taken apart. The rear bumper that we repaired, primer and then we painted, looks great. And the spoiler. So that's gonna wrap up all the paint work. Everything is fully painted. I just purchased a brand new windshield and gasket. We'll replace that. I got some brand new Falcon tires in, so those are gonna make the ride way better. And other than that, we're gonna need to do a little bit of maintenance, but I think we should be able to get to that as well tomorrow. All right, now that we got the outside looking real nice and uh, clean, it's time to clean up the engine bay and do a little bit of maintenance. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and use some of this super clean degreaser, wipe down the engine bay, and go ahead and do a little bit of service on the motor. We're gonna go ahead and do valve cover gaskets today, we're gonna do oil change, and we're gonna do spark plugs. So let's get into it. Now I went ahead and covered pretty much the whole engine bay with the degreaser. Now I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it all down. Go over the whole engine bay and just take off all this degreaser. It's gonna definitely give us a nice look that we're going for. Kind of this straight clean car. Probably eventually we will power wash this, but for today's video, we're not gonna do all that. We're just gonna kind of clean this thing up, see what we're really dealing with. You know, I got this car and I literally didn't even drive it. I just started work on it right away. Started doing all the body work and didn't really show no love to the engine. Didn't even know what we're really getting ourselves into. So we're gonna go ahead and check it all out right now. This was somebody's daily driver, so I'm not too concerned with it, but we still wanna do a little bit of service. That way we know that we're good to go. Okay, so the engine bay cleaned up pretty well without any major power wash or anything like that. I just kind of used some uh, super clean degreaser and it cleaned it up really nice actually. I probably will power wash it after everything is said and done here after we do a little bit of work. But for right now, it's looking really good. And one thing that's kind of a very cool plus is that this thing came with a uh, and n intake. It's carb legal, so we're really good here in California with some carb legal stuff, so that's good. One thing that I noticed right off the back, it has 
these red hoses and that looks super ricer so we're gonna go ahead and change those out we also got a little bit of a tune-up kit over here got some uh fresh uh mobile one thetic here got a little bit of a lucas oil stabilizer that i like to put in all the new cars that i get just to see that you know the engine gets lubricated properly so i like to using this stuff i don't know if you guys do if you guys do drop a comment let me know if you guys are have ever used this stuff in the engine got a k and oil filter for the oil change got some ngk iridium spark plugs and i got a honda valve cover gasket set so we're gonna go ahead and kind of freshen up the top end a little bit probably do a valve adjustment because i don't know when's the last time this thing's had a valve adjustment once that's done we'll go ahead and finish up the rest of the assembly we still got to put the headlights on the bumper on uh the turn signals on gas cap on the hard top on rear spoiler on tail lights and rear bumper along with that this thing needs some major detailing as it's been in the body shop for the last month but i think after we finish this we'll go ahead and pull it out we'll do a quick power wash kind of wash it up start detailing the interior and then tomorrow we'll finish up putting on all the exterior parts and put on the brand new falcon meat set we just got all right let's look at that head man this thing actually looks pretty freaking clean for uh 2003 we're gonna go ahead and change out valve cover gasket it has like a little leak nothing crazy then we'll go ahead and put some new spark plugs in there and just change out the rest of the headset while this valve cover is off clean that up that would go ahead and put it back on the head and get this thing back to running condition do a just quick tune up spark plugs oil change uh valve cover set and uh then she should be ready for the road tomorrow. All right, while the oil was draining out, went ahead and cleaned up the valve cover. It's pretty clean now. We're gonna go ahead and put the new oil drain plug on there, put the oil in there, put this all back together with the new spark plugs and everything, and get this thing back on the ground. The spark plugs on this thing were actually pretty wearing pretty evenly. You guys can peep them out, see if the camera will show you that. Uh, they were not too bad, but anytime I get a car that I'm gonna be driving, I kinda wanna look through it, make sure everything is kinda up to par and that we don't have any hitting issues you know because my my ultimate goal is to sell this thing and so i want to make sure it's good to go for the new owner engine actually looks pretty good we're just gonna go ahead and uh, change up a couple little hoses here get some fresh oil in here some new new gaskets and uh some new spark plugs and we should be good to go all right here she is guys just got done with the tune-up right now so right, this thing I literally has no bars of gas so i'm gonna attempt to go drive this to a very close gas station right here with no headlights brake lights i know that's like super reckless but i'm just gonna go get some gas real quick we're gonna go park it right over there and then we're gonna go ahead and finish the assembly and start detailing this thing literally no gas and literally no brake lights no tail lights Oof, that was that was rub that's what that was i'm gonna drive this thing really careful i really haven't even driven it outside of the shop it just literally just straight to work on this thing i'm trying to get it out as soon as possible i will enjoy it for probably a couple weeks to a month however long it takes to sell but my ultimate goal is to pretty much just get this thing done and sold so I can finance two projects that I'm working on. One is the Mustang that you guys have seen, you know, that rebuild that we are doing. That's, uh, it's almost done. After paint, there's not a lot left. Some interior work and, oh shit. Please make it, please make it. There's literally a gas station, not even a mile. Like there's literally no bars reading on this. We're almost there. I might have to push this thing, but uh, we're almost there. I'm, I'm hoping I make it to the freaking gas station. <laughs> Oh my god, we're almost there. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna put this thing down and I'll see you guys at the pump. So I'm hella riding dirty out here. No front bumper, no headlight, no rear bumper, or no tail lights either. Full tank of gas. Fill this thing up. Now I, I feel safe that I'll be able to make it right back to the shop and not die. And uh, as soon as this thing's all ready, I'll have a full tank of gas and I'll be ready to cruise. So gonna head back to the shop right now. Get a little bit of detail going because this thing is like super messy. Start the assembly process and hopefully by tomorrow we'll be able to cruise on this thing. All right, finished kind of wiping down the inside of the driver's side. Gonna move over to the passenger side, but didn't really put any dress or anything like that. Just kind of cleaned everything on, got all the dust off, the dirt, the grime. This center pocket was like loaded with stuff. Now it's all, oh, damn it, that's gross. Look at that, that's, that's pretty disgusting. But this little pocket I'm kind of proud of because it was super dirty. Gonna move on to this side that's still pretty dirty. <laughs> All that trash that I dug up from the back side of this is pretty messed up. But vacuumed everything out, cleaned up the back. Now it's time to move on to the back passenger. 
So I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty happy the way this interior kind of cleaned up. I went ahead and wiped everything down, vacuumed it, hit the carpet, hit all the plastics, got all the dust and the grime and everything off. Uh, I'm not gonna put any uh, dressing or armor or anything like that on it right now. So it's 100% ready. I'm pretty much gonna call it a day for tonight. Gotta put on a couple of plastics around the convertible top and then we can put the hard top back on. One of the headlights was broken due to the accident. So we gotta kind of repair some of the tabs on this one. This is the one that wasn't broken like also got restored it looks really nice came out really good and tomorrow we're just pretty much the last thing we're gonna do is put on the rear bumper put on the front bumper fix that headlight and maybe put on the front lip if we have a little bit of time other than that a uh, hard top glue the rear window in and mount the brand new Falcon tires really digging the way this thing is coming out and I think uh, by tomorrow we should pretty much have this thing almost 100% wrapped up uh, there's always gonna be little things that I'm gonna find while driving and actually putting more seat time on this car but so far take a look at this thing man this thing is coming out really nice I really not a big fan of black cars the reason why is just they're very difficult to maintain but this one coming out really nice I'm gonna let the paint really dry up before I do any type of polishing and get this paint 100% but so on i mean richard was able to leave a really nice finish on it like very little to no orange peel super glossy so i'm very happy with how it's coming out once it's all put together this thing should look like a million bucks and we should be able to get top dollar for this and that's gonna help fund the project uh for the bronco and the project for the mustang as well and i'm gonna hate to see it go but a couple stacks might you know change my mind so this headlight was really bad so we got some panel bond mixed up right here in the board and we are panel bonding the brackets back on so we could actually attach this back onto the car. Both brackets were busted, but we were able to restore it, make the light look good. Now we just gotta be able to mount it. So this stuff uh, is used to attach quarter panels, mold stuff onto vehicles. So I'm sure that's gonna be just enough to hold the headlight on. We'll let that dry up all night. And tomorrow we'll go ahead and finish the installation of the other headlights. So we can put on the, the front bumper, move on to the rear bumper and then the hard top. So that's gonna cut it for tonight. I'll see you guys in the morning. The next day. Guys, I had to do a little running around and the guys were able to put this thing pretty much all together. Uh, minus front lip. I need to order some emblems, but uh, wasn't able to show that to you guys. But I'm also pretty happy that they were able to do all this. I'm here and they took care of it. It's coming out great. Right now, the only thing really left is to put the hard top on and then go ahead and take the thing to get, get the new tires put on. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. Finish putting the hard top on getting this thing with the new tires put on i just dropped them off at the tire shop got the brand new falcon meats we're gonna go ahead and throw those on right now after the hard top and then we're gonna kind of soak it all in and see what this thing looks like the hard top is on but one thing that i really didn't spend the extra money and get a new window so what i did is i used some um, uh, mcguire's what is this ultra pro speed compound right the 110 now you just did that by hand and it kind of cleaned it up you can see how bad this window is you can barely see it but i kind of just did that by hand and it's not perfect but it looks a lot better so i'm gonna try to do that with my lupus machine and see if we can get this halfway decent so i can at least see out of my back window so i'm gonna go ahead and attempt to do it just a quick pass because it's really bad like you literally can't see out of it and it's like smeared it looks it looks horrible so i'm gonna see what we can do with a little bit of uh, elbow grease and the rupus polisher all right here is the polisher i'm just gonna put a couple little drops of this stuff on there and hopefully it looks better than what it does now but it doesn't get worse right That's already a huge drastic improvement. So I'm gonna do all the big section with my big one and right around the corners, I'm gonna mask that up and just hit it with some with my small polisher so I don't have to kind of like distort the color of my gasket. After that, we're gonna go ahead and take the tires to get mounted and give it a one final quick wash, even though it was just washed yesterday. That's one thing I hate about black cars, like you wash them and now this thing's covered in dust. Go ahead and finish uh, polishing this thing. Go ahead and take it to get the tires mounted. All right, not bad, not the best, but at least you can see out of it. I might put a little bit more time into this later or I might just get a new one. But for right now, we're gonna go ahead and get these tires mounted up. You can't bet your dad's car. It's all right, I ain't losing. This fool is running a Honda 2000. Here we are at the tire shop getting the brand new Falcon tires installed on the S2. Of course, this thing is sitting like way too low, so we're gonna have to either put it up on some wood or something, 
I'm gonna leave it up to Louise from All the Tire to go ahead and finish up this mounting. Meanwhile, I'm gonna go ahead and take the car off the lift because this thing is actually really too low. I'm gonna lift up the back just a little bit because this thing rubs over anything. <laughs> All right guys, here she is, my 2003 Honda S2000. Here's a glimpse into the paints. I don't know if the camera catches that pearl. Square setup of Enki RPF1s with some Falcon tires. A Mugen style hardtop, mostly black stock in the interior, pretty clean. The highly coveted F20C with a Canon cold air intake. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this is about my third S2000. Probably one of the cleanest ones, not too aggressive. Very simple, black with some RPF ones. The RPF ones are the most basic B S2000 wheel you can get, but they fit the car perfectly and the specs are always great. Now, some of the coolest factors of the S2000 is the 9000K red line, a push to start button, the radio door that hides the radio, so cool. A six speed manual gearbox, as well as being one of the only real wheel drive Hondas in recent memory along with the 50-50 weight distribution this is probably one of the best Hondas you can get for the money <sighs> all right man so I gotta say 10 out of 10 this is one of my favorite cars one of the best Honda cars ever made and it is for sale so if you're in the market and you're looking uh, go ahead and shoot me a DM I'm gonna go ahead and drop my link there go ahead and give the shop a follow we're gonna drop the link right there as well thank you guys for watching today's video uh, I know it's kind of a long one, but I want to show kind of the the steps that I'm making this year from doing little stuff like this, flipping this S2000 to finishing up my Bronco, finishing up the Mustang, and getting close on other stuff like the CRX and E46. So the goal this year is to take this Bronco right here and get it all done and hopefully get it ready for maybe a Barry Jackson this year as well as this Mustang right here so we still have a lot of work to do and in order to do that it takes a lot of money and uh, you know to have money but i am not the richest person in the world so in order to do that i am moving x and y in order to help fund these projects and still uh be able to pay my mortgage and stuff like that so uh thank you guys so much for watching and for being a part of the channel and all the great comments you guys leave i really appreciate that we're gonna go ahead and end the video right here so if you're new to the channel go ahead and hit that like and subscribe and notification because hopefully the next notification you guys get is gonna be the bronco build or the mustang getting painting so again thank you guys so much for watching here at SOS customs we got you covered peace